Saw that guy in almost two weeks. His vehicle never was moved. His trash never was put out. The house off Meadow Lane in Inkster has been quiet. That's because the man who lives there was dead inside his garage, murdered, stabbed to death. So I knew something should was wrong, I thought. This neighbor was right. Inkster police found the man's body Wednesday night after a well-being check. Right now, uh, investigators are trying to determine a motive uh, for this crime uh, and locate an individual that is a person of interest. It wasn't long after investigators developed a suspect. This man, 40 year old Yanko Romero. He apparently lived with the victim in Inkster off Meadow Lane between Middle Belt and Henry Ruff and down in Florida, Fort Myers. It appears that, that they both came here from Florida uh, and uh, went back and forth quite often. Inkster Police Chief Bill Ratliff says the investigation leads them to believe he's no longer in the Inkster area, which is why he's putting the call out for help. Other clues are coming out too. Last week, Romero had contact with Inkster Police and fire, then a hospital visit for an injury. At that time, uh, appeared to be a, a standalone incident with police who didn't uh, realize that there were any other issues going on. But now the context of that hospital visit and injury looks different. Neighbors shared with us Thursday that last week one of their windows was broken and this bloody knife was found on that person's porch after the windows were busted out. The chief is stressing the importance of getting Yanko Romero into custody. We ask that you do not approach this individual, do not contact him, leave that up to law enforcement. Now, at this point, investigators are not releasing the victim's name. They are still working on notifying next of kin. Remember, there is that Florida connection. Police down in Fort Myers have been put on high alert. Jessica Dupnak on the edge.